This is gigantic for the Vanishing Paradise campaign. We've been building this constituency for the last uh, year and a half. And really we've got you know, 350 organizations signed onto this national letter. We've got people working with us, but to have Bass actually sign onto our letter, that's a whole new level for us. Yeah, and in 2003, I got the fish to Bassmaster Classic here. I won that year and I found a magic spot. You know, I found an area that produced the winning fish. And so, so coming here now, we're here nine, nine or so years later, absolutely was one of the first places I wanted to go check out. You know, vivid memories of what that pond looked like and, and what kind of fish I caught out of it. And now I come off the outboard and I look, and it's wide open marsh. It's, it's wide open bay. No reeds, no clear water, no, no, no cane, you know. No pond, totally vanished. And, you know, that really kind of puts into perspective about what's happening. You know, a lot of times you could hear people saying, well, erosion's happening, erosion's bad. But until you see it, you really don't understand what this thing's all about. The, you know, I, I think one of the things is, uh, you know, with the, with the vanishing paradise down in, in this area that uh, I, don't, I don't really don't think Americans are really aware of what, what we lose. You know, it's, it's the, the numbers are staggering. Uh, you know, a football field every 38 minutes is, uh, you know, you, without being down here in years past and, and going out and seeing it and then coming back, you know, years later and seeing what's gone, you, you really don't understand you, and you, it's very much so underappreciated just how much is being lost day in and day out. You know, the first time I came here was a Bassmaster event in the, in the late 1990s and, um, you know, I was just blown away by the quality of the fishery. And, you know, this is a little over 10 years later and I've fished here another half a dozen times since then, different Bassmaster events, and I've seen a lot of the different areas, you know. Um, you know, west of the Delta, down to Venice and that area, and, and each time I'm just stunned at how the, it changes. You know, there's areas that used to be marsh are now open bay. It's important for all sportsmen. I don't care if, if you hunt, if you fish, if you just love the outdoors. It's important to step up and, and care about this problem. You know, the main thing is we've got a way to fix it. We've got a solution. It's not one of these problems that th there's no way to solve it. You know, we've got the Mississippi River, which is one of the biggest things we can use to help bring, bring the marsh back, to help bring these land masses back. We can spread the message to, to the rest of our country and, and, and our, our congressmen and senators, uh, you know, that, that hopefully somebody's eyes, the right person's eyes, will, will be open to it and, uh, and we can get something started. So over the last two years, we've been building momentum, we've been creating this grassroots constituency of hunters and anglers all across the country. Now with Bass signing on to our letter, we're actually creating the ultimate will to reconnect the river with the wetlands.